Hi, my name is Andrew Robinson, Director of Digital Content for Emotiva Audio. I'd like to welcome you all to our second episode of Emotiva's Home Theater 101 video series. In this episode, we're going to be detailing some of the basic concepts and terminology behind home theater. In the beginning, there was but one speaker. We refer to this as mono. Later came the advent of stereo, or two speakers. And it wasn't until much later, with the emergence of Dolby Surround, do we find ourselves getting close to the surround sound formats we know today. These are often referred to as either 5.1 or 7.1 setups. The 5 or 7 being the total number of speakers, again, left, center, right, right surround, left surround, or in the case with seven channels, you're adding a right and left back channel. The point one in both instances refers to the subwoofer channel. Now, there is also a format out there known as DTS, and some people prefer DTS to Dolby, but what you need to know is regardless of which flavor of surround sound you prefer, both endeavor to achieve the same end result, and that is give you a fully immersive cinematic experience in your home. What's even more important to know is that regardless of which format you choose, the way that you set up your home theater for 5.1 or 7.1 is the same meaning both Dolby Digital or DTS take advantage of the exact same speaker setups. So which of these two setups, 5.1 or 7.1, is right for you in your home? Well, that's going to largely come down to the size of the room and your budget. What's important to note is regardless of which setup you choose to go with, 5.1 or again 7.1, your overall experience and takeaway from the cinematic event should be the same. So that is why it's best, or easiest I should say, to start maybe with a 5.1 system if you're new to home theater, and then graduate or upgrade to a 7.1 system down the road. Remember, all a 7.1 system is, is the evolution of the 5.1 system by adding two back channels. We're gonna go over what equipment specifically is needed in order to build a 5.1 or 7.1 system in your home. Just know that regardless of which system that you choose or which setup you choose to employ, the end result and the process of incorporating one into your home needn't be difficult. Want to know more? Visit us on the web at www.emotiva.com or write to me at andrew at emotiva.com.